My name is Olga de Klein and I'm a visual artist. I have a studio in Chattanooga, Tennessee. A visual artist is, in my opinion, I create paintings, but I could also put photographs in there, I can put yarn in there, I can put objects in it. It's like more of a mixed media. My art is, in general, pretty colorful. It gives you a good feeling and you hope that others that look at it will feel good too. Art to me is therapeutic and I paint every day. It's just like combing your hair, brushing your teeth. It's part of my life. It's part of me. I grew up in Amsterdam, the Netherlands and Amsterdam is still very close to my heart. Ever since I was a small child, I wanted to be an artist, but my parents felt that it was not a profession that I could make money in. When I arrived in Chattanooga, I felt that this was my time to become an artist, and that was at a ripe age. I was an adult already, and in my classes, I was the oldest student. After I first graduated from UTC, I started doing what is called yarn bombing. Yarn bombing is like putting yarn around objects that might not have a lot of color to give it more color or make it more attractive. Being an artist and being creative to me means that you can transform things. And if you don't like it, you can always go over it. My art has been evolving. My first love always has been portraits, painting portraits. I feel a portrait tells a story and I try to integrate that story in that painting. Some of the paintings that I have been making have been from old family photos and they were tiny, tiny little photos that were maybe two inches by one inch or even smaller than that, and they were in sepia color. Sepia is like kind of a brownish color, like could be a light brown. So I had to invent or thinking about, well, what was the color of the hair? What was the color of the dress? Then I morphed from portraits to kind of more modern, abstract. Then I started integrating yarn and actually painting with yarn. When I first started integrating uh, yarn in my portraits, um, I basically used the yarn um, to portray the part of the hair, let it cascade of the painting so it became more like a 3D painting. Painting with yarn is a process that I really love, it is very creative. It is also a chore to find the right yarn to get like the right colors that I would like to put in a painting. Many times it doesn't come out the way I thought it would be. I have had like a lot of failures and a lot of like paintings that I said, oh my gosh, how, why did I even keep it? But I can improve, I can always keep on learning, I can change my style. And sometimes, you know, my, my mistakes, or that I saw where my mistakes were some of my best paintings. I hope that kids also pick up on it, that they can just be creative, like have creativity as part of your life.